Hi, Trevor today here and welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you an amazing day that I spent with my mother and one of my uncles on one of his allotments. We talk about growing our own food and eating organically. I want to share with you some of the insights into how we eat and how we grow our own food. So my mum has mushrooms in the fridge just in case I come around. <laughs> and did we plan this? We didn't plan this, did we? We just... We just worked with what you had and this is what we've come up with we've come up with yeah man and um, our starter was organic um cucumber from from uh, an allotment the juice was um pomegranate. oh no yes pomegranate and uh grapefruit oh yes so you see where i get it from this lady right here pomegranate and grapefruit yep that's what i had to start my day with um as i was helping her sort some stuff out around the house so yes this is what we've come up with vegan stroganoff and waiting for the cucumber which is also organic lovely this is an organic cucumber look at that it's got seed actual seeds like proper seeds in it very crunchy very delicious i took one bite and it took me back to zimbabwe when i was a, um, a child all these memories and love just came flooding back i was lucky enough to walk away with a few gifts i had some pumpkin leaf cucumber courgette swiss chard and spinach we're going to be making the uh, pumpkin leaf stew for you today which is absolutely amazing with pap making two types one of them will have peanut butter and the one the other one will be plain with just uh, tomato sauce in it first things first the laborious process of peeling the pumpkin leaf getting rid of the little stringy long prickly bits on it then we've got to wash it thoroughly before chopping it very very finely i start cooking my tomato sauce while i'm peeling my pumpkin leaf so that the tomatoes are cooked by the time i'm ready to put the pumpkin leaf in because it doesn't actually take that long to cook the pumpkin leaf Heat some oil up on a pan while you're chopping your tomatoes. No onion, add the tomatoes to the oil, season them with cayenne pepper, ginger powder, and onion powder. Cover them and turn the heat real low and leave them to cook as you're finishing off peeling your pumpkin leaf. Wash it, chop it very, very, very finely. At the same time, you wanna start preparing your pap. So what you wanna do is you wanna get one cup of pap, which is maize meal, into a pan, and then a cup of water, cold water, and then mix the two and bring it to the heat. Boil some water, about 700 mils, and then add the boiling water to the heated pan with the pap in it, and then just keep stirring until it thickens and starts bubbling. And when it starts bubbling, turn the heat down really low and cover and leave to simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. It's very important that you keep stirring throughout the whole process. Do not stop at any point, otherwise your pap is gonna get lumpy. And when it gets lumpy, it's gonna be very hard to get rid of those lumps. So keep stirring all the way through so it stays nice and smooth. So when you do finally come to finish cooking it off, it's got no lumps in it. Add your pumpkin leaf to the uh, tomato sauce, turn it to a medium to high heat and keep stirring in the, the, the pumpkin leaf into the tomato sauce. Add a little bit of water and some bicarbonate. You need a, a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarbonate soda to help it soften so it goes into like a spinachy type of consistency as it cooks. That's what you're looking for. And that is exactly what the bicarb helps it to do, soften. And we want it to be really nice and soft. That's where the, the, the texture and the flavor comes from. It's at this point that we then add our salt as well to season. If you notice, in the beginning, we didn't put any salt to the tomato sauce. We add the salt in much later on as it cooks uh, so that we know how much salt we're putting in and we're not putting in too much salt. And that is sea salt. When I cook greens, so I cook them on a medium to high heat. This helps them to stay that rich green color. You don't want them to go that browny, horrible color. So cook them at a medium to high heat and that helps them retain that rich greenness.
once the pumpkin leaf is cooked, I then split it into two pots because I want to make two different types. I want to have the plain one, which is with just with tomato sauce, and another one with actually nut butter, peanut butter. So I separate the two into two pans. The one with the peanut butter, I put in a separate pan because I want to add two tablespoons of peanut butter and then stir it in and then let that cook through for a couple of minutes. Our pap is not ready to finish off cooking. So what we want to do is we want to take a, a cup of maize meal and add it to the pap. Actually a cup and a half to two cups because we use 700 mils of water. And then just stir it in until it thickens and then start to mash it through. And as you can see in the video, what I'm doing is actually an art form. This takes years and years of practice to get to this stage. Swiss shard. I'd love some. Look how beautiful this is. Looks so healthy. Pumpkin plant, baby one. You eat the leaves, the leaves with peanut butter. Oh my God, absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. 